तो स्टूडेंट्स टूडे यू विल स्टडी पॉल मोर केमिकल प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ फिनॉल्स दैट इज इलेक्ट्रोफिलिक सेफ्टी रिएक्शन ऑफ फिनॉल्स नो द रिएक्शन इन विच हाइड्रोजन आइटम एट आर्थो और पैरापोशन और आर्थो एंड पैरापोशन आर रिप्लेसड और सब्सटीट्यूटेड बाय इलेक्ट्रोफाइल आर नो इज ए इलेक्ट्रोफिलिक सेफ्टी रिएक्शन नो वॉट इज इलेक्ट्रोफाइल इलेक्ट्रॉन डिफेंस स्पेसिस विच कैन अटैक इलेक्ट्रॉन रिच सेंटर आर नोन एज इलेक्ट्रोफाइल्स पॉजिटिव आयन्स एंड मॉलिकुल्स कंटेनिंग एटम विथ इन कंप्यूट ऑक्टेट आर इलेक्ट्रोफाइल्स नो देर आर एट इलेक्ट्रोफिलिक सब्सिट्यूट रिएक्शन ऑफ फिनॉल्स विच आर वेरी सिंपल सी वन बाय वन नो फर्स्ट इज हेलोजिनेशन So, the substitution of hydrogen atom at iron para position by halogen is known as a halogenation. There are two sub reactions. First, action of bromine. So here, bromine is taken as example of halogen. Phenol when treated with bromine in a solvent like carbon disulfide, chloroform, or carbon tetrachloride. Gives a mixture of ortho bromophenol and para bromophenol. Now, so here this is the structure of phenol. This is OH. This is phenol. Now, plus Br two means bromine molecule formed of bromine. Now, here there is a CS two or CS in center or CCl four. Now see the products here. This is OH plus this is OH. Now you know, with respect to this carbon, these two are known as ortho positions. These two are known as meta positions. This is known as para position. Now. In some molecules, hydrogen atom at ortho position is substituted or replaced by Br. So here there is Br. And in some molecules, hydrogen atom at para position is replaced by Br. That is mixture of ortho bromophenol and para bromophenol is formed. Now replaced H and Br forms what here? HBr. This is byproduct. You remember here, this is mixture of these two means what if we take 10 molecules of phenol then two molecules of this compound and eight molecules of this compound will form so this is a minor product and this is a major product now you write names here this is ortho bromophenol and this is para bromophenol now second action of bromine water Now, if we take solution of bromine in water, that is, when phenol is treated with bromine water, gives two four six tri bromophenol. Means what? Means what? In this reaction, hydrogen atoms at ortho positions and para position are replaced by bromine. Now, see the reaction here. This is phenol. This is OH plus. Br two. This is phenol. Now here, water. The product is only one product is obtained here, but it is a tri bromo derivative. Now here, one hundred atom from this carbon that it is here one Br, here one Br, and here one Br. What is the name of this compound? If we number from this carbon one, two, three, four, five, six. This is two. Four six so two comma four comma six dash tri bromophenol is the name of this compound. Now see what is the byproduct here. Replaced three H and three Br forms three H Br. So how many bromine atoms are required here? These three and these three six. So here you have to write here three. Now see here reactants are same. 
But if you take solvent CS2, CSL3 or CSL4, then product is mixture of earthen bromophenol. And if you take bromine water, then product is a tri bromophenol. This is a first chemical property. Now second chemical property is nitration. The replacement of hydrogen atom at earthen para question by nitro group means what NO2 is known as a nitration. Now when phenol is treated with now again there are two sub reactions. First is action of dilute nitric acid. Now, nitric acid. Now when phenol is treated with dilute nitric acid, similar to our reaction, a mixture of arthonitrophenol and paranitrophenol is obtained. So reaction is this is phenol here OH this is phenol plus nitric acid. Now it is written in this form HO and NO. So here this is nitric acid HNO3. Now here this is phenol one molecule this is another molecule here OH now this OH is here hydrogen atom here there is a hydrogen atom at this corner hydrogen atom at ortho position in some molecules and in some molecules hydrogen atom at para position is replaced by this group which is known as a NO2 so here there is a NO2 and here there is a NO2 and uh, replace H and this OH forms byproduct H2. This is a balanced reaction. So what is the name of this compound? O then nitrophenol or two nitrophenol. Now this position is para position, so its name is para nitrophenol. Now again, this is a major product, and this is a minor product. Means what? This molecule is formed more, and this molecule is formed less. Now again here, if we take concentrated nitric acid, action of concentrated nitric acid, phenol when treated with mixture of concentrated nitric acid and concentrated sulfuric acid, which is known as a nitrogen mixture, gives a 246 trinitrophenol which is known as a picric acid. Now there is only difference in the concentration. In above reaction there is nitric acid and here there is a mixture of concentrated nitric acid and concentrated sulfuric acid. So this is phenol. OH here. And plus again here HO in O2. This is molecular formula of nitric acid concentrated and in place of concentrated sulfuric acid we have to take again concentrated sulfuric acid the mixture of these two is known as a nitrogen mixture now here three hydrogen atoms two from ortho position and one from para position are replaced here here in O2 here in O2 and here in O2 now what is the name of this compound? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 2, 4, 6. So 2, comma, 4, comma, 6. Then dash. There are 3 nitro groups. So tri. Then nitro and phenol. This is the product. And what is the byproduct here? So here we have to, we require 3 nitro groups here. So we have to take here 3. Now remaining here, these hydrogen atoms are replaced by these three nitro groups in the three molecule now three OH and this three H forms what is here plus byproduct three H2O okay so this is the uh, nitration of phenol now third main reaction is sulfonation the substitution of hydrogen atom at R10 para position by sulfonic acid group 
that is SO3H is known as a sulfonation. Now here uh, product depends upon the temperature that is here there are again two sub reactions one is uh, at low temperature this is action of concentrated sulfuric acid now see here phenol is treated with concentrated sulfuric acid at low temperature low temperature means about 20 degree celsius so this is phenol okay plus now see how to write this sulfuric acid h2so4 here again ho and so3h so it is written to understand how that reaction takes place otherwise the formula of sulfuric acid is h2so4 so h2 so so4 now this group is known as a sulfonic acid group now temperature is 293 kelvin so it is 273 plus 20 means what it is in degree celsius the temperature is 20 degree celsius now product is ortho derivative that is hydrogen atom at ortho position is substituted so here there is a oh and here there is a so3h now means what in this reaction hydrogen atom this hydrogen atom is replaced by this group which is known as a sulfonic acid group and therefore name of this compound is a uh, ortho phenol sulfonic acid and plus here this OH and this H forms byproduct H2 now second sub reaction is at high temperature Phenol when heated with concentrated sulfuric acid at about 100 degree Celsius means what 273 plus 100 373 Kelvin gives a para derivative. So reaction is this is phenol and plus I can see it HO SO3H this is concentrated sulfuric acid. Now temperature is 373 Kelvin means what 100 degree Celsius. Now here the hydrogen atom from para position is replaced. So this is OH and this is para position. So here there is a SO3H and plus as it is H2. So new this compound is I will write here. Uh, this is here para phenol sulfonic acid. So these are the first three reactions hydrogenation nitration sulfonation now fourth main reaction is rimmer timer here r e i m e r rimmer timer m a w n reaction now phenol when treated with chloroform and sodium hydroxide followed by hydrolysis gives a salicylaldehyde this reaction takes place in three steps now see the reaction here here there is a OH now here is here chloroform means CHCl3 and sodium hydroxide NaOH now you know phenol when treated with sodium hydroxide use phenoxide ion so first here there is a ONA and here there is a CHCl2. Now one Cl and this H falls a byproduct HCl. So in place of H there is a CHCl2. Then again in AOH. Now here this CHCl2 group is converted into aldehyde group. So here O and A and here there is a CHO. CHO is aldehyde group and when it is hydrolyzed by acid which is you can write dived HCl H2SO or in short H2 plus science or H plus science so this is uh, as it is here OH and here there is a CHO okay and this is known as salicylaldehyde so 
तो दिस इज नोन एज ए रिमूवर टाइमर रिएक्शन फिनॉल वेन ट्रीटेड विथ क्लोरोफॉर्म एंड सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड एंड फॉलोड बाय हाइड्रोलिसिस इट यूज सेल्सिडाइड इफ यू यूज कार्बन टेट्रा क्लोराइड दैट इज सी सी एल फोर इन प्लेस ऑफ सी एल थ्री इन फाइनल प्रोडक्ट इज सैलिसिक एसिड मीन्स वॉट इन प्लेस ऑफ सी एच ओ डी इज सी ओ एच नो फिफ्थ रिएक्शन इज कोब रिएक्शन नो हियर द रिएक्टेंट इज नॉट फिनॉल द रिएक्टेंट इज दिस फिनॉक्साइडाइल इन दिस रिएक्शन फेन फिनॉक्साइड इज ट्रीटेड विथ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एट टेम्परेचर थ्री नाइन एट केलविन अंडर प्रेशर सिक्स एटमोस्फेयर फाइनली गिवज सैलिसलिक एसिड नो हियर दिस इज फिनॉल एंड नॉट फिनॉल इट इज अ सोडियम फिनॉक्साइड सो दिस कंपाउंड इज फॉर्म बाय रिएक्शन बिटवीन फिनॉल एंड सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड हियर देर इज अ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड सी ओ टू टेम्परेचर रिक्वाइड इज थ्री नाइन एट केलविन एंड प्रेशर इज सिक्स एटीएम Let's see what is the product here. Here there is OH. See here, here there is H here, and COO in A here. COO in A. And now when this is hydrolyzed, is what treated with acid, gives a corresponding aromatic acid, which is known as salicylic acid. Here there is OH and here there is a COH. So COH is the function group of carbolic acid. CH means aldehyde. COH means carbolic acid. So its name is a salicylic acid. So this reaction is known as a Cob reaction. That is conversion of phenol or sodium phenoxide into salicylic acid. Now sixth reaction is oxidation. So you know. Oxidation means addition of oxygen or removal of hydrogen. Phenol when treated with oxidizing agent like chromium anhydride (CrO3) or sodium dichromate and sulfuric acid gives benzoquinone. Now see the reaction here again. This is phenol. Okay, H and plus here. O two and oxidizing agent is either CrO three or uh, Na two Cr two O seven and dilute H two four. This is sodium dichromate and sulfuric acid. This mixture acts as oxidizing agent. Now product is here. This is known as a benzoyl, which is a diketone. There are two ketonic groups here. Not here. Double one here. Double one here. One here. One here. There is O and here there is O. This is known as a benzoquinone. Benzoquinone. Now a balance reaction not given in the book. Uh, see here. Uh, here one O. Here one O. So total how many O? There are there three. So H and one by product will be H two. Do you remember the reaction in this way? So this is oxidation of phenol into diketone, which is known as benzoquinone. Now, seventh reaction is catalytic hydrogenation of phenol. Now, hydrogenation means reduction, addition of Hydrogen. Now here, when phenol is, that is mixture of phenol and vapors of phenol and hydrogen are passed over nickel catalyst at a temperature four hundred thirty three Kelvin, gives cyclohexanol. Now this is phenol. Here there is OH and plus H two addition of hydrogen is known as hydrogenation or reduction and catalytic means this reaction takes place in the presence of catalyst like nickel, platinum, palladium etc. Temperature required is four hundred thirty 
433 Kelvin. Now see the product here. Now here there is a OH. Okay. Now here there is double bond and at each corner there is a hydrogen. So this double bond breaks. Now if the double bond breaks, there are only three bonds of each carbon. One, two and already there is one hydrogen. Again here also one, two, three. That is this bond breaks and one edge get added here, one edge get added here. Similarly, one here, one here, one here and one here. Means what how many hydrogen atoms are required? Six. So here you have to write three H2. Now in a phenol at each corner there is a one hydrogen. C six H five OH is the formula of phenol. But here at each corner there is a CH2, not CH. CH2, 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 CH2. There is no double bond. So this is known as a cyclohexanol. The formula of cyclohexane is C6 H12. If it is 14, then it is a aliphatic alkene hexane. But if that open chain is closed, then to connect last and first carbon, two hydrogen must be removed. And therefore, formula of cyclohexane is C6 H12. And uh, it is cyclohexanol means what? One H is replaced by OH. So formula of this compound is C six H eleven and OH. See so here two four six eight T nine. Uh, whatever says two four six eight ten. And here C. Now here there is a one H now. Uh, means what? C six H eleven and OH. So this is the formula of cyclohexanol see cyclohexanol okay means what unsaturated double bond breaks and single bonds are formed here hydrogen get added there it is known as a reduction or hydrogenation and the last reaction is reduction it is also again reduction now here phenophenol is phenophenol is treated with not treated heated with zinc dust means what zinc metal gives a benzene now the reaction is this is phenol this is phenol plus zinc means symbol is zn and it is heated it is mixture of phenol and zinc is heated then reduction takes place now you know reduction means what here addition of hydrogen or removal of oxygen so this oxygen is removed means what there is only h yes here so it is c6 h6 yes it is benzene and plus here this zn and replace o gives zno as a byproduct so these are the eight electrophilic substitute reactions of phenol now last point in phenol is uses of phenol there are only two uses first phenol is used in the preparation of phenol formaldehyde resin or polymer which is used in the manufacture of bakelite and second application of phenol is phenol is used in a number of common products is used in daily life like room freshener floor cleaning mouth washes deodorants etc so आता जे हिट लक्ष्य थोड़ी क्या ये आता जे में यहाँ आठ रिएक्शंस हैं इसलिए तेरा मानसे इलेक्ट्रोफिलिक सब्सट्रेट रिएक्शंस या सुपर रिएक्शंस आहित फक्त आर्थन प्यारा पुरुष ला काय रिप्लेस होते थे बगैसे आते में तुम्हारे नोट्स दिले ले तेरे नोट्स में तो फक्त थोड़े से वोड लेकिन करोपन First halogenation. At the time, we separate the line. Because action of bromine, action of bromine water, still line. But prediction the chair, then question the chair. What is the action of bromine in CS2? What is the action of bromine water? Then what is the action of dilute nitric acid? What is the action of constant nitric acid? That one we have to separate. That another side, another side line. Here is halogenation reaction. And the other one. Here is the action of bromine water. Get the the time with the two, four, six tribromic phenol. Get the nitrogen. The other one is the other one. जर डायलूट नाइट्रिक एसिड घेतलं तर अर्थोनी प्यारस मिक्सचर मिळतं 
आणि जर कॉन्फिडंट रायटिक ऍसिड घेतलं तर काय मिळतं या ठिकाणी टू फोर सिक्स ट्रायनोटोफिनामचं जे आहे पिक्रिक ऍसिड बनतात त्या सल्फोडेशनमध्ये बघा टेम्परेचरवरती प्रोडक्ट राऊट बनाय कमी टेम्परेचरला कोणता प्रोडक्ट मिळतो आर्थोफिनॉल सल्फोनिक ऍसिड आणि जर टेम्परेचर शंभर डिग्री सेल्सिअस असेल तीनशे त्र्याहत्तर असेल तर कोणता मिळतो पॅराफिनॉल सल्फोनिक ऍसिड त्यानंतर ही रिमर टाईम रिॲक्शन आहे बघा ही दिले बघा नाही काय तयार होतो फायनली इथे घेतले सी एस सी एल थ्री आणि निवेज फायनली काय करतो हा इथे येतात प्रोडक्ट आहे फायनली याला म्हणायचं सॅलसल डिहाइड यानंतर ही कोब रिॲक्शन जर फिनॉ सोडियम फिनॉक्साईड सी ओ टू होते ह्या टेम्परेचर प्रेशरला जर ट्रेट केलं तर फायनली काय मिळतं हे सॅलसल कशी मिळतं या तर त्या सगळ्या सांगितलं कशा होतात ते त्यानंतर या ठिकाणी आहे ती ऑक्सिडेशन रिॲक्शन आहे ज्यामध्ये काय फॉर्म होतं डायकिटोथेस नाव काय बेन्झोकिनॉन आहे इथं सांगितलं बघा कोणकोणते इथं सी आर उतरी घ्यायचा किंवा सोडियम डायक्रोमेट आणि एस टू सोपर हे ऑक्सिडायझिंग एजंट म्हणून वापरायचे त्यानंतर कॅटलेटिक हायड्रोजनेशन जर फिनॉल हायड्रोजनवरती हिट केले ह्या टेम्परेचरला ह्या प्रेझेन्समध्ये तर काय मिळते सायक्लोहेक्झोनॉल मिळतो आणि शेवटचे रिडक्शन ऑफ फिनॉल आहे जर फिनॉल झिंकवरती हिट केलं तर काय मिळतं पेजे मिळतं आणि ह्या दोन त्याच्या काही युज ज्या ठिकाणी दिलेत तर जे नोट्समध्ये दिले ते आता मी सगळं सांगितलेलं आहे ह्या रिॲक्शन सोप्या आहेत मेथड ऑफ प्रेझ थोड्यासा अवघड वाटतात पण ह्या ज्या केमिकल प्रॉपर्टी आहेत ह्या सोप्या आहेत तुम्ही फक्त काय होतं हे फिनॉल कॉमन आहे आणि जे सात रिॲक्शन म्हणजे सात वेगवेगळे जे दुसरे रिॲक्टर आहेत त्यांचे फॉर्म्युले लक्षात ठेवा आणि फक्त आर्थोन पॅराप्रेशनला 